Did, did you fart out there? We just got dusted by a customer. Oh my God. So if you already have a change machine, it's a real easy way to add value to your machine and make it do more than just one thing. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but nobody brings quarters into a laundromat. They expect a change machine. Out real quick and get the machine loaded. These are our stick keys. Our most. And here's our 40s. One's out of order. It needs a motor and a drain valve. These are our 30s. Very popular washer. I wish I had a lot more 30s than 20 pounders or a lot more 30s than top loaders because people like them so much and they're cheap to get too. Let's get our two top loaders on this side. These three need bearing jobs done. We're kind of in the, de in the debate about whether we're going to replace the bearings or we're just going to throw them out and get new ones. Kind of half a dozen one the other. Eric, my camera guy here, got to witness me trying to work on one, and it doesn't go very well. Once they get bad, they get real bad, and you see like they're getting the paint's getting rubbed off them and stuff. Sometimes you just gotta get rid of them. Let's go load this up. Did did you fart out there? No. Like, we just got dusted by a customer. Oh my god. Mid-sentence, I couldn't talk. I took a big but I'm like, what the fuck? I thought Eric did that to me. This is a American changer. Very nice changer. Um, standard in American to the two you want to get. This one comes out of Florida. Easy to get parts. They're super helpful. If you don't know, my change machine, I put a bill breaker in. So this is a bill breaker. This is a regular bill validator. So this one over here takes ones, fives, tens, and twenties and gives you quarters. This one takes ones, fives, tens, and twenties, but on tens and twenties, on a 10, it'll give you one five and then five dollars and quarters. On a 20, it'll give you five dollars and quarters and three fives. Now you say, well, how does it do that? Well, it has a whole hopper in the bottom loaded for fives. Once it notices a 10 or 20, it does that automatically because not everybody wants 10 or 20 dollars and quarters or dollar coins or whatever you're doing. So what it does is, as I put the five back in, it reloads itself. It's an MEI bill recycler, they call it. So basically, you can go out and you can buy bill breakers, or you can just convert your existing change machine to, bill, to be bill breakers. So I could actually have it dispense four fives or two fives for the 10 and not even do quarters. It's, it's very versatile, and it was a lot cheaper. A bill breaker itself could cost you about seven grand. This little bill validator was only about four or 500 bucks. So if you already have a change machine, it's a real easy way to add value to your machine and make it do more than just one thing. I had somebody the other day ask me about, about bill, bill breakers, and I'm like, that's why I don't have one, because I don't need one. That's too full. Too full. Everybody says you can't overfill these. That's that's too full right there. You want about halfway, not like that. That may not dry their clothes real well. And that's what happens. They'll have a sucky experience, even though your machines are nice. And that's why it's pushing the door open. We got the noise from the roller. Yeah. Too, too much in there. Too much. Just gotta get the rest of these loaded and we're pretty much done on changing this place out.
The reason it looks so low is because we just changed this out yesterday. I'm gonna leave them alone down there. And we're gonna go do some top loaders. We've been doing it every day just to keep ahead of issues we're having. Last one. Pick up the garbage as we go. Yeah, there's nothing in those two. Now the reason I shut the door to this thing is because my hopper likes to roll out because it's old. <laughs> So it gets too heavy, it'll, it'll roll out. Now we're not filling it all the way full because a lot of our quarters, because we're the only place that has quarters, we got a lot of the quarter bandits, like the video you saw. So people are coming and getting quarters and leaving and we make no money. And people say, well, you're still doing a service. Well, service is when you get paid. I'm not getting paid. I'm giving a dollar of quarters for a dollar. Now you'll be like, well, people bring in money or bring in quarters, so then now you're there exchanging it and you give you extra money. Nobody brings quarters in. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but nobody brings quarters into a laundromat. They expect a change machine. They just don't carry quarters around and they hope to God they use them all up before they leave because they're gonna lose them. So people that make the comments like, no, 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 you're totally wrong. I hate to tell you, I'm being nice. You're wrong, 100%. It's a pain in the ass. That's why we're going to dollar coins and card system and we're not gonna have this problem anymore and I'm not dealing with it anymore. I'm not dealing with the apartment building kids randoms that somehow want quarters for no apparent reason. We have no car washes to go to now because they're all those club car washes. They don't do quarters. So there's nothing for them to go after except me now. So I'm not, I'm just done. <laughs>